April is gone and the goose has new glasses. They look like mine. <laughs> nothing, nothing, nothing better than those glasses. But, you know, there's still going to be judgment involved in the tuck rule here because the definition now says he has to be tucking it back toward his body. So, you know, when the ball actually comes loose is going to be a discussion point. I think there's still going to be some controversy until they get more of a fine line. Blank on third and seven to the outside. And the catch was not made in bounds, so the Bucks will punt it away. Hey, Mike, I, I know you started a campaign on that last year. We talked about it week 17, so congratulations on, on getting that changed. Uh, the other one that happened in the offseason is the lowering the crown of the helmet. And, and for a while there, I felt like we'd gone down that slippery slope and we were making a rule change that was against the fundamentals of the game of football. But hearing it explained, it actually made sense to me, and I'm all right with it now. Yeah, I think so, too. This is, we haven't seen one yet so far in the, through the first week of the preseason. It's designed for two players coming directly at each other, and then one lowering and hitting with the crown of his helmet. We're not going to see much of it, I really don't think. Thank you for stick with us. We'll chat some more about it following the break. Early third quarter in Foxborough.